and get a bit of an understanding of what might be coming up on the horizon. Hey guys, thanks for having me on. My name's Greg Hill and I'm the executive producer here at IRC. Happy to support the Race for More 2.4 for the third year now. It's such a great cause and thanks to all the donors, sponsors, and participants. Now, one thing I've done the last few years is this is a great platform to share details with folks about how things are going with iRacing development. Last year, I provided details on a project to add rain, which I know there's a lot of interest. And it's clear that this has been a significant project, given that we've been sharing details during this venue for some time now. It's not so, as simple as adding rain, what we're doing. We're truly overhauling and upgrading our entire weather system. And it's scientifically simulating atmospheric conditions, uh, everything that makes up weather, such as air pressure, temperature, moisture, uh, and all the variability that goes into that. You can see a video playing here in the background, and it shows how weather can play out over time. So we start off here with a sunny day, and there's a menacing looking cloud on the horizon. And over time, that cloud blows in to the, the racetrack on the wind currents, and it's starting to rain. So as the track starts to get wet, you can see that water flows and collects in the low-lying areas. There's some puddles forming. As the race cars drive around, they're now dealing with a dynamic situation. Uh, polished lines that were once safe in the dry are now treacherous in the wet, and cars need to find effective wet lines. Eventually, the rain subsides and the sun comes back out. So as the track heats back up and the surfaces are exposed to the sun, the water begins to evaporate more quickly and the track shows patches of dry surfaces. The cars themselves contribute to this driving and you'll see clear paths involved where they're traveling. During this entire process, uh, racers, eye racers, are having to make calculated decisions based on their observations and the forecast of the weather, on when to change tires, strategically, if that, whether it even makes sense. And it's just gonna change iRacing significantly. iRacing is already a very dynamic experience and these rain systems and advanced weather systems will take it to the next level. So we're really excited to share with you these videos. It's really the first motion that we've shown in a while. Just do note that the VFX are placeholder. There's still a bit more work to go. Of course, this is just one project and there's a ton more going on at iRacing across our many racing categories. We just released a major upgrade to our dirt racing system that we've called Dirt Refresh. And we're now working on a project with similar goals called Oval Refresh. In both of these projects, we evaluated the state of the track dynamics, the tires, the cars themselves, with an overall goal to improve the racing and realism. So Oval Refresh will be released when it's ready. And uh, we're really excited to have invested time into that. And it's very important to us. There's also many significant other projects going on around iRacing to improve in just about every area, starting at the foundations of the sim itself. We actually have a team working to re-architect the sim at the very lowest levels to provide a more optimized and future-ready product. And this has already resulted in improvements that we've released. You guys might have seen in the last build, we dramatically improved loading times, actually. And that was an area in iRacing that was suboptimal for sure in the past so we're excited to improve those uh, in the next build we're going to be continuing this work with the addition of more unique cars that can be loaded at one time which will really let us expand our offering and we're excited about that now this optimization work will continue and will affect all areas of the sim eventually graphics audio physics and other core systems and we'll be continuing to invest in the sim at its most foundational levels uh, additionally our physics entire team has expanded in size and we brought in some new veteran voices from across the sim industry and there's significant efforts right now to modernize this area with uh, tire modeling advancements physics rate increases and just ongoing progress in general. It's a real area of focus. Uh, audio will also see a significant evolution soon. That team has also been bolstered in ranks with uh, new additions and, and veteran voices from around the industry. More features, more modern features uh, are going to be added. Audio is just really a key component of a realistic experience and racing in particular. And it's gonna be better than ever. I'd say just overall at iRacing, things are more exciting than they've ever been. We've made such significant investments into our team and to bringing in new talent and new voices to really help us evolve and take things to the next level, not only in terms of 
quality, but also speed. We want to move more quickly. So combining all these new folks with our already veteran team of developers has just been really exciting. And we're really looking forward to the next few years, the next several years, where the product will evolve and improve and continue to offer our customers tremendous value. Um, at the end of the day, we're in this business to provide the best racing sim there is, and uh, it's incredibly important to us. We're all really passionate about what we do every day, and we love what we do. If you want to learn any more about what I've been uh, discussing briefly here, but in more detail, there's a blog that I put out last week, and you can find that on our public site in the developer blog section. So check that out. There's a bunch of screenshots and get a bit more detail. As for today, I just wanted to thank you all again for participating in this awesome event, this great cause, and I hope to see you all out on the track soon. Thank you so much and good racing.